do an analysis of dy dt equals y times y minus 1 times y minus 2. So first it really helps if you begin by graphing this. So just graph dy dt versus y. So I'm going to do that by computer here. So you can also, for example, call it f of y if you like. That's often a common way. So f of y is equal to y times y minus 1 and then y minus 2. So we're just graphing dy dt versus y right here. Let me zoom in. Notice that only y is present as a variable in this differential equation. So what story does this graph tell us? Well, let's analyze it somewhat carefully. First of all, notice that around y being equal to zero, remember that here the horizontal axis is the y-axis, but on the vertical axis, what you have are the values of the slope. Okay, so just remember that. So here, if you look uh, around zero, then here you see the slope is basically negative, and then here it's positive. And then as zero itself, it's zero because it's the value of the zero right there. So on the right side, let's do another, another picture here to help us understand things better, like this. Okay, and let's focus now on the following. So this is going to be y equals zero, like this essentially. So this is y equals zero. If you look at this equation here, then below it, the slopes are negative and above it. So now let's do the following here. Remember that here, where it says zero, that's like saying y is equal to zero. So like this, right there is like saying it's a value of y less than zero. Say so that means that the slope is negative like this. So from there, what you do is you just basically make a lot of copies of this, okay, like this, you see? I'm gonna do this on a computer, but it's gonna get the idea across. Like this, like this, there's a little slope field marks. Let me add a couple more maybe, but not too many. There we are, and then maybe one more here. Okay, that gets the idea across. Now look, to the right of it right there, the coordinates are positive. That's like saying, in other words, the slope is positive. And it's about equal in value, right, around this point right here. So let me stress. See what's happening there? Very careful. Look at it. To the left, it's negative. To the right, positive. So that means here, you're going to draw the slope mark as a positive one. And then just pointing in the opposite direction to uh, the negative ones. That's all. Okay, the slope values are the same, just opposite in sign. So you're going to end up with a situation that kind of looks like this, if I can grab these little segments like this, okay, and then like this. So this kind of y equals zero that you see there, hopefully you can tell that this is what's known as an unstable equilibrium. So any solution that you have here, it kind of will flow away, or here it will also flow away, you see? So it's an unstable equilibrium. Now let's focus on what's happening over here. Is that different? In other words, does y equal 1 give us a different situation? So first let me just draw y equals 1 right there, okay? In a slope field picture. Now look at it again carefully. Here, that basically tells you, because the length of the little segment is positive, that's like saying that the slopes are positive below 1. So the slopes kind of look like this, okay? Uh, roughly speaking, look like this. Let me make some more copies of them. A few, okay? They look like this, like this. Okay, and then like this, let's see, like this. All right, and then like this. So those look like this. Now notice very carefully on the left side, you see it here, these are negative right, because that's below the horizontal axis. So that means they look like this, okay? Like this, and they, they're all pretty much have the same value along a given value of y, like this. So how is this different? Well, it's definitely def different because it's stable. What I mean is, like a solution picks up from here and it flows towards this. And the other solutions kind of flow towards it also like this, you see, because of the direction of the slope field like this, you see? And then this flows towards it here, whereas on the other one down below, they flow away, they flow away, you see? So y equals zero is unstable, but y equals one is stable. Now there's one more here, which is y equals positive two. So let's talk about that one. Let me just draw a line. Okay, so let's say this is y equals positive 2, like this. And again, you study very carefully what happens around y equals positive 2. And maybe you can tell that, for example, like this indicates that the slope below the 2 there on the vertical axis on the right side, that slope is negative because this is negative. So in other words, you're going to have a situation where you have segments and they kind of look like this, you see? They have a negative slope going from left to right like this. Okay, let's add maybe a couple more. We're doing this by hand. On the computer, obviously, you can uh, do this much more carefully, right? And there are websites you can find that will show you, do that for you, but it's getting the idea across. Okay, 
Now very carefully look on the right side of this right there. That's positive. You're above the vertical. Oh, I'm sorry. You're above the horizontal axis. So that means those look like this. So kind of if we were to sketch them out, uh, kind of more or less, you know, just to get the idea across, try to make them maybe all the same. See what's happening here. The difference again, solutions that follow this, they will do this. They'll flow away. So y equals two is an unstable equilibrium. Whereas y equals one, you can imagine is a stable equilibrium because those solutions will be kind of trapped within this corridor basically. And then y equals zero again, unstable because solutions flow away uh, down below and also above it. Leave a like if it's been helpful.